How is everybody doing today? It is May 23rd, 2020, and we are in the very peak of a deep cold snap. It's going to be definitely below freezing, probably around 30, 35 degrees tonight. Um, we went through a couple days of cold, not this cold. We're uh, locked in with a bunch of the stuff right here, and I'll show you the other stuff we have inside locked down, but thought I might give you guys a glimpse of the yard after this is over and we start climbing out of this cold snap which will be a couple days worth of uh, still some pretty bad colds we're going to be definitely moving we're moving forward on everything room for more peppers coming up um, last night was really rough we thought we could uh, survive with a lot of the stuff out here tonight but we decided after what we went through last night trying to keep everything from falling out we got these covers over the top of uh, the two tomatoes that have went in the Cherokee purple and the black cherry so much work we move all these bins around constantly trying to uh, get the proper lighting move them in away from the house but shade cloth <laughs> chair camping chairs bins kind of blocking them these are the ones that have all been transplanted they had to be pulled up close those are uh, some Cherokee purple and black cherry sprouts were given away in chocolate pear I believe we already we're not gonna put the chocolate pear in our yard that's the first one to be cut from uh, the 16 varieties we started and then the Cherokee purple and the black cherry we have some sprouts out there right now that are growing so those ones will come back into our yard if for some reason tonight hurts those other ones some uh dwarf tomatoes some dwarf tomatoes back there just locked in we have a shade cloth ready too that we can kind of lay over everything if we need but we're pretty confident on it it's not nearly as bad as it was last year and hopefully this is our last cold snap but thought i would show you guys the yard a bit there's a giant uh comfrey the walking onions we had to corral with this string here. They're getting these bulbous. So they'll survive the cold. They've been uh, out here through a little bit worse early on. And uh, yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. It's the near end of may update i'm not sure how many videos we're trying to get as much of the garden it's so much work all the time but we are super excited to grow with you guys and uh catch you guys in a second love you all right behind our couch in our living room we usually keep these grow bin systems that we got going um, they've been out there weathering out but for tonight these are the peppers this one has a lid on it. Our uh, kitty Athena, she's guarding them. <laughs> Up to no good, probably. But this is our uh, sprouts that are ready to be relayed and anything that doesn't go in the yard, we've been giving away to our local farm market, mostly friends that we have down there. So that's the ones we're holding in tonight for the living room. All right, so here's the little bathroom. That's uh, we ended up throwing out the sweet potatoes. We had to do it in a way that uh, made it so that we didn't hesitate because they were still giving off more and more and more shoots. We've got like 13 more sweet potato sprouts here. This is a tray that we got, uh, that we just got recently from a friend that grows some really unique stuff and We'll get these fired up and either be giving these out to friends and family or we will be keeping these in our yard if we need or get at some extra space. Mini Bell Tomatoes still doing well. Kiddo Succulents is doing well. The Defenbachia, the Angel Planet, all three of them are doing really well. Spider Plant and Warnecki couple lemon trees that probably need transplanted someday. I really really like this Malamar spinach. It started to take a hit in the cold so it's in here right now. 
but it's just I don't know the it's so good and it's almost it's almost succulent like in its uh, texture and everything so it's just really really an excellent excellent kind of leafy green if anybody's uh, never grown it I would uh, definitely recommend it a really uh, resistant it should take up good in the heat too when it comes up and I think uh, one of our friends up in Canada has had its seed and winter through and then sprout up everywhere afterwards so I think uh, that one's a definite recommend by us we really really like that we're gonna be getting more seeds pretty soon for that and that's the tiny Tim I believe and then our avocado tree is getting under some stress but the top of the growth is doing really really well we might be moving it to outdoors this year or we're gonna top it way down again and another five attempts to fail at the clippings for some reason but anyways this is the little restroom we got some lockdown going on down in here all right and in our bigger upstairs bathroom that we have reopened for plants again and put in a lockdown situation is uh all the tomato sprouts there's still about 12 different varieties i believe in there um, all sorts of varieties, pineapple, we'll uh, do kind of a reveal hopefully when we get these all transplanted. It might be Monday though because we're slowly climbing out of our cold snap. That's a Delcati squash that'll be ending up going to a family member or maybe even a space in our yard. It's a really, really good, really, really good variety of uh, squash. A couple more um, sweet potatoes. A few uh, dwarf sprouts that are from the suckers of the dwarf plants, dwarf tomato plants. Um, three extra atomic grape sprouts and then a leftover corn for kiddos two sisters. So this is the upstairs lockdown. So we got the large restroom, the little restroom behind the couch. Um, that's where most of the yard is. and. Everything that's already been transplanted and is outside is locked down and ready to fight through what should be the last steep drop. This is uh, pretty rough, but uh, we've gotten used to it. We've been fooled before. We're completely maybe overestimating a little bit, but just in case. But we love you guys. Just wanted to give a quick update on everything we have going on. Hope you guys are doing well. Hang in there. May's, uh gamble weather for everybody and also just a lot of work a lot of unglamorous work where the yard is taking shape and until it kind of takes its shape it's mostly just this for us over here so really excited we've been watching a lot of videos um, our view is viewing is way way up with the whole stay home situation but we love you guys we're having fun um, hope you guys are having fun that's the most important thing Garden every year as if it was your last, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Love you.